Hey guys, today I am filming a super requested video which is how to be successful on YouTube or how to start a channel, tips for YouTube and stuff like that. I get this requested all the time and I've said that I'm going to make this video for like two years but I just haven't so I have a list of the pinpoints on my phone so hopefully I don't blabble to babble too much even though I probably will so let's just get into this video because I know it will be super long obviously the first thing you want to do is make a channel um, now that YouTube is through Google Plus you can use to use your name or a, um, a username so if you choose to make a username I suggest um, having a word in it that has to do with your channel type so whether it's beauty um, like funny videos, short films, anything like that um, and I also sh suggest putting your name or your middle name or something like that in it. Um, I made the mistake of making Beauty Is You O2, like I hate that name and it like sticks with you forever so you definitely want to be wise about make. sorry my face is itchy, about making a name. Um, so. And I get asked what camera I use and what editing system I use all the time. And I use the EOS uh, Rebel T3i from Canon and I use the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And um, my editing system I use is CyberLink PowerDirector 10, which just comes on my desktop. So, um, but any camera that you have can work for your first few videos. Um, you don't want to go out and buy a really expensive camera if you don't know that you will be sticking with YouTube because that's just that's just a waste of money. So for about a half a year I used a iPad and they have iMovie on an iPad that you can use but um, you know just whatever camera you have even if it is just your iPhone use it if you really want to start making videos and you don't have a camera and then once you realize that you really like it, um, you can buy a more expensive camera system. You want to edit your videos um, accordingly. You don't want to make them over edited or under edited. You definitely want to find some type of editing system. It just makes your video quality that much better and um, so whatever editing system you can use. Um, Pretty much every computer will come with a, some type of movie editing system that you can use and again you can buy a, one a more sensitive editing system if you um, continue making videos. Next is making your first video. Um, this can be very hard to decide but I get this question all the time, what should be my first video? And I would say do a popular video like what's in my purse or um, everyday makeup tutorial or outfit of the week. Um, outfits of the week are super um, popular right now so you can do that or a lookbook or a makeup tutorial but um, I don't suggest doing like a room tour, makeup collection or haul your first video because that kind of comes out off like you know, I don't know how to explain that, but, um, so just make your first few videos super popular videos on YouTube, so when people are searching for them, they come up and they're easier to find. Um, so also people ask me how to get views, like they put up a video and it's been up for a month, it has three views and it's probably just you watching the video, and this can be super tough. Um, when you first make videos because you don't know how to get views but the biggest thing that I would tell you is to get a Twitter um, for your YouTube and if you're like parents loud or whatever but it's a it's a great way to get your videos out there um, to tweet the link when you um, post a new video and that's what I do if you guys are following me on Twitter you probably see that but shameless self-promotion follow me on Twitter Katie Lynn but um, anyway so um, yeah, so you want to definitely make a Twitter and once you meet people with the same subscriber range as you, people that are just starting out, they can tweet your links and you can tweet their links and their viewers can watch yours, your viewers, they can watch theirs, all that stuff. Um, so Twitter is a big part of getting views, uh, especially if you don't have any on your first video. So definitely make a Twitter and follow some gurus that you find. So, um, okay. So yeah, social media is super important with your YouTube because that will get you out there and um, can have and can have an effect on your viewers and your subscriber rate. So um, next is making friends, and I and I get this question a lot, and um, people say, "How do you make friends on YouTube?" Well, um, you don't want to go in um, in your YouTube. 
and messaging someone if you have 10 subscribers mes messaging someone with 50,000 because that's a super large gap and it's hard to make friends that way because you don't have that much in common so if you find people on Twitter or on YouTube that have the same amount around um, amount of subscribers than you it helps you a lot and you guys can relate to things and you guys have so much in common you don't want to make a Twitter and tweet MacBarbie07 and be like let's be friends I have YouTube too because that's not gonna work um hate to say it but so just find people in your subscriber range and you should be fine and just have a natural conversation with them don't be like don't act all like fangirl -y and stuff and don't and don't be like let's be friends because that's kind of awkward even though I do that sometimes so but um, yeah, friends will come to talk to people, but not in a creepy way, and you should be fine. Just make sure they are around the same subscriber range as you, because that makes it so much easier. Okay. Next, or the, one of the last things, is um, about getting paid on YouTube or having companies contact you. Um, this just started happening for me a few months ago, and um, so right when you make videos, if you go into YouTube for the money, if you say, I'm going to start making, I'm going to be like Mac Barbie 07 or Michelle Fawn and I don't have to work and YouTube can be my job because I'm just going to get paid for YouTube. That is totally the wrong attitude. You go into YouTube with a positive attitude about your videos and not so much focusing on the money. So, um, yes, you can get paid for YouTube. You can do it through YouTube AdSense. Um, which is the YouTube program for payments, or you can get signed with, or, or, or sign onto a contract with a company network. So I am on with Style Hall, and this I've been with them since December. And um, there, this is Style Hall is for like beauty and stuff, but there's other um, networks that you can join for other things. But um, yes, they will get you will get paid, but I mean it's not like rolling. It's just something a little bit extra and the money that I get mostly just goes to to things for making more YouTube videos so it just kind of levels itself out and also getting companies to notice you. I suggest once you get more um, subscribers you can just find a small company on Etsy or just a small company near you and email them and tell them that you are willing that you are willing to review their products and um, they may send you something but that is not obviously like a guarantee but that is just one way but but my main point is don't go into YouTube looking for free stuff or money because your videos won't turn out as good but um, yeah so you definitely want to post videos that you are proud because if you're not happy with the way your video turns out, then your viewers won't be happy with the way it turns out, and it just doesn't really help you at all. So definitely only post videos that you are proud of. And the last topic of this video is people finding out about your YouTube channel. And um, there's no way around this. You cannot hide your YouTube videos forever. I understand that you probably are going to want to keep it a secret from your people at school and your friends and stuff, but they are going to get out no matter what. And um, you may not think that. You may think, oh, I only have 20 subscribers, but it will happen in due time. Everyone, pretty much everyone um, in my grade knows about my YouTube videos now, and it just kind of happened. Um, I don't even, it was all within the past few months, um, some people just came up to me and said, hey, I was searching, um, makeup tutorials and you popped up. I'm like, oh. Uh, and they tell their friends and they tell their friends and it just gets around and, um, there's really no way around it. I try to make way around it, people would say, I saw you on YouTube, I'd be like, please don't tell anyone, which was like a year ago, but now pretty much everyone knows, but um, it's all different with every school, every community, every town, but um, people may make fun of you or they may think it's cool. Um, it's a little bit of both. Mostly people just think that it's kind of cool but where I live, but um, if people come up to you and say, I saw your YouTube channel, you cannot act um, insecure about it or embarrassed because they will think that it's something because they will think that it is something to be embarrassed about so if they come up to you and say I saw your YouTube video and you'd be like and you just like act really awkward you're like 
<sighs> can you not tell anyone or something like that? They're going to think that it is something to be embarrassed about, and it's not. Um, YouTube is a super cool community, and not everyone does it, and that makes you unique if you make YouTube videos. So be confident if people come up to you and say that they saw your YouTube videos. Um, or if people, you know, here's a good comeback. If people come up to you and say, I saw your YouTube videos, they're so dumb. Or something like that, you should be like, hey, at least you got me more views. Am I right? Am I right, ladies? But, um, yeah, just act confident around the people that know about your channel and um because if you don't they will think that it is something to be they will think that it's something to be embarrassed about and they will have an easy you'll be an easier target for them to make fun of you um so for me not really no one makes fun of it people just think that it's kind of weird but some most people think it's cool but um yeah just go about it in a mature way when people ask you about it don't deny it don't be like that's not me because it's, it's clearly you okay and um yeah so with that being said just be confident about your channel and you should do fine um it does take a while to grow subscribers and viewers but it is so worth it and um even if you have a hundred subscribers or a hundred thousand YouTube is an awesome um, hobby and thing to do and I hope that you guys enjoy this video and you guys start YouTube channel because it is seriously awesome and um, yeah so I hope that this helped you out a little bit and this was so requested so yeah thanks for watching and I will talk to you in my next video.